This video focuses on a problem now referred to as sophomore's dream, and the result was originally found by Johann Bernoulli in the year 1697. Remember from other videos of mine that Johann Bernoulli was the tutor to Leonard Euler, and Euler went on to become the most productive mathematician in all of history. So in this problem, we have the integral from 0 to 1 of 1 over x to the x dx. And Bernoulli was able to show that this integral is equal to 1 divided by 1 to the first power, plus 1 over 2 to the second power, plus 1 over 3 to the third power, and so on. This is an infinite sum. And if you actually added this up using a computer, you can see that the result starts to approach about 1.291286. And before we actually try to solve this integral, let's take a look at what this means geometrically. So let's look at the graph of 1 over x to the x. And the integral is essentially saying that we have to find the area underneath this curve from an x value of 0 to an x value of 1. So our answer would just be this area here. And there are a couple things to note about this function. If we evaluate it at 0, we get 1 over 0 to the 0, which is indeterminate. But if we take the limit as x approaches 0 of 1 over x to the x, we can show that this is 1. Though I won't actually show this in the video, but it is a fact that the function is 1 at an x value of 0. And it's also interesting to note that the maximum value of this function is at a y value of e to the 1 over e. And now that we have an idea of the type of problem we're trying to solve, let's go ahead and solve it. So we have the integral from 0 to 1 of 1 over x to the x, which can be rewritten as x to the minus x dx. And then since we know that e to the natural log of x is just equal to x, we can apply this idea where our x here is just x to the minus x. So x to the minus x is equal to e to the natural log of x to the minus x, which is just e to the minus x times the natural log of x, since exponents can just be brought down in front of their logarithms. So this integral is now equal to the integral from 0 to 1 of e to the minus x times the natural log of x. And this expression here can be expanded using the Taylor series of e to the x. Recall that e to the x is simply 1 plus x plus x squared over 2 factorial plus x to the third over 3 factorial and so on. Written with summation notation, this is the sum from n is equal to 0 to infinity of x to the nth power over n factorial. And if we substitute this value here for x in this Taylor series, we have e to the minus x times the natural log of x is equal to the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of minus x times the natural log of x to the nth power over n factorial, which we can simplify by just taking this product and raising each of the factors to the nth power. So the sum still is from n equals 0 to infinity. And we have minus 1 to the nth times x to the nth times the natural log of x to the nth power. And I'll write the n in between these, all divided by n factorial. So let's put this expression into our integral where we see this expression. It's equal to the integral from 0 to 1 of the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of minus 1 to the n times x to the n times the nth power of the natural log of x 
divided by n factorial times dx. And we also need a dx here. And since we have an integral of a sum, we can change this to a sum of integrals. And we can do this because this Taylor series is convergent for all values. So let's change these signs. So now that we have our integral is equal to the sum, and n is equal to 0 to infinity of the integral from 0 to 1 of minus 1 to the nth times x to the nth times the nth power of the natural log of x divided by n factorial dx. And what we can do is pull out this minus 1 to the nth and in factorial since neither of these factors have an x in them. So this is equal to the sum n is equal to 0 of minus 1 to the nth over n factorial multiplied by the integral from 0 to 1 of x to the nth times the natural log of x to the nth power dx.